Hello again, everybody. So I wonder what we could make to go with the story. I've been cutting up a lot of paper. I found lots of old magazines and I've had lots of beautiful colours in the pictures in the magazines. So I've got my scissors and sometimes I did tearing. And now I've got a lovely rainbow collection. I love these blues. So many different blues. I love these reds. So many different reds. And I've used these to make a butterfly. Oh, look. <laughs> I think this is a picture of a fridge. <laughs> it doesn't matter what you use to cut up. You can still make beautiful things. So many different colours. But first you're going to need the shape of a butterfly and I'll show you how I did this. You need a bit of paper or you could use an old envelope or an old paper bag or something. Now butterflies are the same on each side. Each wing is exactly the same shape. So a good way to do it is to fold the paper in half like this and just draw half a butterfly. Ooh, I've dropped my crayon. I'm going to do it like this. I'm going to go up here. That's the top part of the wing. Down here. That's the bottom part of the wing. It's a bit hard to see. I'll do it a bit harder. Rest it on my lap so you can see. This is looking better. We'll see in a minute. There. Now I'm going to take my scissors and I'm just going to snip all the way around here. All the way around here. Can you see I'm turning the paper? The scissors are staying in the same place the whole time. This is a really good trick when you're cutting out. You just need to turn the paper, keep the scissors steady, open them up and down like a crocodile. Snip, 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 snip. Around we go. Mm -hmm. Quite like this bit I'm cutting off. Might keep that. Oh look, there's another butterfly. Maybe we could use that to put on another piece of paper, draw around the inside and we could draw a butterfly as well. Better not throw that away. Now you have a lovely butterfly shape. This way up's better. And you can colour round the edges first. This is what I did. I used a big fat crayon like this. I used it on its side to colour in all round the edges. And then I had a look at all my bits of paper. This is nice. It's a picture of a garden, but there's some lovely green on there. I cut out spots and stripes and lines and I stuck them all over my butterfly. I was very careful to make sure if there was something on this side, there was the same thing on the other side. And then I made a little body and some antennae. You might want to do legs. You could do whatever you like on your butterfly. There's one idea. Maybe it'd be not quite fun to make a caterpillar and a leaf. I found a bit of brown paper. It came in a parcel that I had delivered to my house and I kept it because I thought that would be useful. I liked the way it was a bit crumply. I coloured it in like a leaf. I put the veins on the leaf and I put the colours on the leaf and then I made two little holes with my scissors. To do that, I folded the leaf over like this and then cut in with my scissors. I made a big hole. Oh no, that's the big hole, look. <laughs> I made a little hole and I made a big hole. And the little hole is going to be for the little caterpillar. And 
the big hole is going to be for the big caterpillar. Now you could use your little finger and your big thumb or you could use your little finger and you could get your grown-up to be the big caterpillar with their big finger or thumb. This is how we're going to do it. I've got a pen. This is going to be the little caterpillar. Wait and see. Actually, let's do it with this hand because it's going to be easier. Here we go. There's the little caterpillar. <laughs> and this is going to be the big caterpillar. eaten so much it's really full. Now you can do a little trick with a leaf. Here comes little caterpillar. Munch, munch, crunch, crunch, munch, munch, crunch, crunch. Oh I'm really full. Munch, munch, crunch, crunch. Oh my goodness. No, he's not a little caterpillar anymore. He's a great big, oh, let's get him a yawn, sleepy caterpillar. Here we go. Oh, oh, I'm so tired. I enjoy doing that. <laughs> so, you can make a butterfly. You can make a leaf. You could decorate your fingers. Actually, this is a really good game to play. You can make up a whole story. You could have loads of characters. You could draw on the end of each of your fingers. Your fingers could have a little conversation and talk to each other. Maybe we'll do that another time. Now this idea, I don't know if this idea is going to work, but it might be fun doing it. I've been doing a lot of tidying up because I'm in my house. I've been doing a lot of tidying up and I went through my drawers and I went through my drawers where I keep my tights and I decided Lovely as these are, I'm not going to wear these tights anymore. Too pink. So I thought, I wonder if I can use these tights to make a butterfly. I haven't really tried it yet, but this is my idea. I've cut out two pieces of cardboard. I'm going to put my arm in the tights. Actually, this is a really good one. This is a really good way to make puppets. In fact, this is a really good way to make two puppets. In fact, if you had green tights, what a great way to make caterpillars. But anyway, we're going to make a butterfly. This is how I'm going to do it. I'm going to see if I can put this in my tights. It's a bit of a squeeze. It's a bit of a stretch. Hang on. It's going in. It's going in. Definitely won't be able to wear them again. Here it goes. It's going down. What I want to get is the end bit right where the foot goes. It's going. It's going in. It is going in. Hang on. Here it comes. Here it comes. Here it comes. Oh. Ooh. Oh yeah. Quite. Pull it in quite tight. Well, that's quite nice. Do you know what I've discovered? You can draw on tights. I'm going to put some patterns on it. Oh, hang on, let's hold this. Mm, it's not brilliant, but you can do it. Can you see? Maybe I'll do that at the end. Now, I'm going to put the other wing of the butterfly in. Do you think this is a good idea? I don't know. I've never done it before. Let's try. Right, I'm squeezing it in. Perhaps you can help me by saying squeeze. Push and squeeze and push and squeeze. That's going in. Here it comes. Mm. Oh. 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 Does it look like a butterfly? Not really. Let's see. Ah, oh, wait a minute. Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. That's looking good. Okay, so now I've got all this bit. Oh, this butterfly is going to need 
a body. I'm going to go around there like that. Oh, I like that. Look, the butterfly can fly. Yeah, that's quite nice. Now, now uh, I'm going to make the body. Uh, hmm, how could we do that? What about like this? This is going to be the head. I think you'll probably be able to do this better than me because I'm trying to do it up in the air so you can see. Uh, yeah, sort of like that. Sort of like that. We could twist that, maybe we could tie some string around it. Oh, we quite like it. Quite like it. We could stick things on here. Oh, oh, it's taking off. Well, it will be fun to do. Whether you'll end up with a butterfly, I don't know, but I'd love to see how you get on. I'm going to carry on working on this while you try out some of the other things, and I might show you later on how I get on. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the story and I hope you enjoy making something. And it would be a really good idea if when you've made something, you could take a photograph of it and then you could send it to me. And maybe I can make a little gallery of all the things you've made. We can have a whole sky full of butterflies. See you soon. Bye.